Gemini, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Gemini, wherever that resonates at in your chart. Keep in mind, energy is fluid and you can flip the roles if you need to. Also, only take what resonates and leave the rest. Tapping, tapping into my Gemini's energy. Um, I pull a couple oracle cards and it's looking like what we're looking at right now, Gemini, is some sort of obstacle being removed from your path right it looks like something a situation uh, a, a phase a chapter a relationship something here has come to an end um excuse me heart chakra over here um and i got this retreat card popping out right and this is about sort of unplugging maybe taking a break from social media pulling away um spending a, a, a day by yourself in your own energy to sort of ground yourself here right and i feel like there's also a lot of downloads that you are getting right now cosmic knowledge wisdom energy um intuitive downloads here so this is about grounding these here into the 3d taking a taking a walk barefoot going outside sitting by the beach whatever it is that you do to ground yourself here so let's jump into this tarot and see what we have we're going to do past present and future i'm just going to grab these cards really quick and then we will get into it mother father divine holy spirit what do we have for my gemini's what do they need to hear right now messages for their highest good to help empower them to help bring them clarity and to help them step into divine alignment what do we have here in the recent past for my gemini's please spirit so yeah, there is some type of karmic situation here, right? And this is some, what I'm hearing is it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So this is not, this is something that turned out the opposite of how you thought it was going to be right here, right? I see you gaining clarity here in the recent past. I'm going to grab your current energy and incoming as well. But I am seeing the ending of a major life cycle here for you my gemini wow we have incoming <laughs> wow 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 on the bottom of the deck we have this clarity here with this ace of swords a lot of clarity being gained here right that's what they were saying in for uh this recent past here with the six of cups which brings us to our current energy and you are in a transition right now gemini sort of like a waiting period right now just grounding this this upgrade this level up grounding this transition um incoming right we do have the tower we have the lovers we have the ace of wands and the high priestess so something unexpected uh coming in here um in it your advice here it looks like spirit is saying um to take action off of what your intuition is telling you here your crown chakra is wide open at this time i'm gonna um, grab some clarity from this other deck here just to see what this tower and this lovers is so yeah this for most of my gemini's here this is a relationship it's been very chaotic for for others of you this could even be um you know with friends within your friend circle or your family right there's some type of conflict that's been going on um spirit is guiding you away from this i'm getting um something that just isn't working here something that didn't turn out something that isn't fulfilling something that's draining you okay um, and I feel as if with this being in your advice here, this judgment, this is waking up to the truth, Gemini. This is um, moving forward. This is, you know, releasing uh, what it is that may be weighing you down here. And this is something that you're being guided to do intuitively. 
on the bottom of the deck now we've got this magician here so you know you have everything that you need at your disposal gemini to make this work it says relationship and then we've got the balance card and this eruption so it looks like and then under that we've got potential so that's explaining this tower moment incoming right here eruption something that's been causing you grief something is coming in that's going to happen um it's going to be influenced by this saturn retrograde is what i'm hearing um but it is clearing the way to because there's to make potential right there's so much potential here um for you to be happy for you to be fulfilled for you to feel secure and safe gemini right yep ten of swords a very rough ending for my gemini's here ten of pentacles though right because this is this is removing these karmic situations here gemini so that way you can and this like i said this obstacle being removed here so that way you can move into what it is that you deserve eight of cups walking away from what no longer serves you we're going to look into these romance angels and see what we have for you gemini if anybody would like to book a personal reading with me that information is always down below in the description box also, if this reading resonated at all, I would appreciate it a ton if you hit that thumbs up for me. It really helps these videos um, catch the algorithm, right? Um, so more Geminis can see them. Spirit, what do we have in love for my Geminis right now? What do we have in love for my Geminis right now? Oh my lord okay keep an open mind healing family issues okay uh playfulness so this is a spirit reminding us to not let anything get us down right now gemini to stay in a light-hearted high vibe uh energy even as you're transiting transitioning through this bs right um somebody new i feel like has has caught your attention for some of my gemini's here um Stay optimistic about your love life on the bottom. Release your ex and calling in your soulmate. Like I said, I do feel like you are aligning to um, to a new partner here, Gemini. And it says this could be the one. So this is going to be. So I feel like it's it's releasing this karmic energy here, Gemini. And it's so that way you can uh, move into this new cycle, right? Move into this uh energy to be able to receive what it is you deserve and i know i keep saying it's just how i how i'm hearing it i feel like my gemini's have been stuck in a sort of uh, almost like a rut for you know quite a while now and it's been up and down and up and down and um i know you guys deserve so much better right so manifestation reflection illusion <clears throat> you did have the magician as well the wizard is a symbol of magic and manifestation whose power is activated harmoniously through the mind and heart bridging humanity with the world of spirit the wizard bower borrows the power of the universe to direct and enhance energy to a specific task healing or outcome a wise wizard is loving spontaneous and transparent with intelligence and an open heart the wizard is able to help all people himself included the wizard does this by harnessing the power that is all around him without expectation the wizard allows the beauty of magic to come through him rather than trying to control and manipulate it an open and trusting heart is a refined tool of perception Right now, you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. With pure thought and intention, you can create magic in the world around you, allowing energy to flow through you with ease and with purpose. You can create a magical life. Learn to share your natural gifts with others. You are here to help humanity in a positive way. Refrain from sharing your personal intentions now as they will be easily influenced with others' distorted energy. Sheesh. Um... You have the power to create and shine your light upon the world. Examine your thought patterns and energy and amplify your intentions. Positive thought and creativity will bring you closer to your goals. One step at a time. Intentions are everything right now. 
Focus your int- your attention on seeing the magic in all things, including the beauty residing in the darkness. Look toward the stars for guidance. Astrological influences are high now. Manifest the power of energetic thought and investigate alchemical practices. This will assist you in understanding natural systems such as the elements, nature, medicine, astrology, and life's synchronicities. With the right mindset, you can create and manifest anything. Here's your affirmation for this card, Gemini. It is, I am a conscious creator of energy around me. My heart and mind are unified in spirit. So, 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 I was getting something. Okay, so yes, full moon in Sagittarius here. You guys, this is the guru, the philosopher. This is a major spiritual level up here, you guys. Um... And I do see you breaking through the illusion, climbing this mountain, climbing these steps, right? Connecting with crystals, with trees, with water, with fire, with the elements and stuff right now will be very beneficial. Also, releasing. So it's about to be a full moon. Take some bay leaves and write down things you want to release on them or a sheet of paper. Write down the things you want to release with this full moon, right? Out of your energy. You take it out under the full moon. You picture these things as black smoke or static inside your body, Gemini. You drop an energetic cord down to the center of the earth, right? I will put a link to the grounding uh, meditation somewhere over here. Um, but you want to watch this karmic energy be pulled out of your body, out of your energetic body, into the center of the earth. You want to take that piece of paper and burn it under the full moon, right? Use this beautiful energy to really elevate yourself through these cycles, Gemini, because there is major blessings coming your way. It's just like these, these karmic leeches just sucking on your energy field and that's exactly what i'm being shown right um so ground that stuff let mother nature let mother earth take care of it um she loves you unconditionally and let's get it gemini it's time for this level up right it's time for this level up it's time to step into our power it's time to manifest what it is we deserve so I appreciate you guys a ton for stopping through. I hope the message helped. I hope it resonated. I hope it was entertaining at the very least. Um, and I hope to see you on the next one.